So, first of all, welcome to Dubrovnik. I, I, Thank I, you. I know it's your first time here at NEM. Do you think that these types of events are very helpful when it comes to media industry? I find it very helpful because I believe, especially for our regions in Eastern Europe, it's good that uh, countries stay together and that we discuss developments in Eastern Europe, especially uh, uh, in front of develops in, in Western European markets. Mm -hmm. What is happening here, what will happen here, what might be different. And uh, it's always fun uh, to meet a lot of people you haven't seen for a long time. Um, I agree. Uh, you were going back to your presentation, you were talking about television and the past and mostly the future. Uh, it was so nice to hear someone as optimistic as you are because usually when I'm talking about people talking to people about television they mostly digital people say well no you know traditional television it's done uh, you have all the content you want when you want it OTT whatever whenever and now you, I've heard you say that that 90% of the people are still watching traditional television and that television is not dead so first of all my personality is, is, is I'm, very, I'm, very, I'm, I'm a very optimistic person, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but I think in that context uh, I'm not only optimistic, but I think I'm as well realistic, because numbers show clearly that linear TV is very strong, and that additional digital offers like Netflix, OTT, live TV apps, etc., are actually more developing in the direction of linear TV than the other way around, so uh, the question is, what do we as traditional broadcasters have to change in order to have a sustainable business in the future in a digital environment? And I believe if we change a couple of things, uh, if we make our content available on all platforms, on all devices at any time, and when we continue to offer premium, high level and local content, I believe uh, that the traditional TV broadcasters see as well a bright future. Mm -hmm. And not to see each other as a competition? Instead. I don't believe that's a competition. Uh, I think they are, they are complementing each other. So uh, I, I showed you some examples today. But if you see strong program brands like Got Talent, for instance, and you see uh, uh, that one of our, our, our contestants there uh, achieved 7 million video views in three days on Facebook. I believe that, that, that new media is supportive mm -hmm. to traditional media and is not in competition if we work closely together. Mm -hmm. You spend a lot of time as a, as a CEO of RTL uh, Television Croatia, uh, I think 10 years, 10 years, 8 no, years? No, actually 5. Really? You were working there, for you possibly it seemed to be longer. Yeah? <laughs> seemed longer, no, I, I, was mean, I enjoyed every minute of for, it, of for course. It's afterwards, I joined the board. <laughs> Uh, you spend a lot of time, obviously, in Croatia, and in a way you still do. Uh, can you compare Croatian television market to any other in Europe or around the world? First of all, I'm very connected to Croatia, uh, as well as our engagement in, 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 in Nova TV, so I spend a lot of time here uh, 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 with our colleagues from, from, from Nova TV. I think that the Croatian uh, media market is very well developed. Mm -hmm. It has very high premium uh, local content. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a solid base, so I would not say the market is too small for a viable and sustainable business here. What worries me, however, a bit is that, that in a small market like Croatia, still HRT is broadcasting advertising. I believe that shouldn't be the case. I'm convinced of a dual principle. The, the State TV gets money from the subscribers uh, as, a, as a subscription service uh, uh, and, and, the, and the commercial broadcasters finance themselves just purely from advertising. And that would make even the quality in both systems better because I believe that uh, 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 when a public TV channel in general, and that does not only apply to Croatia, uh, broadcasts advertising, they're addressing as well the advertising market with commercial programs, but that's not why they are there. So. Uh, they do not necessarily follow their public remit and therefore they should not even come into a conflict. I think advertising for the commercial broadcasters, subscription fees for the public broadcast is the right principle to have a better quality on both systems, on public TV and on private TV. So you don't think that public TV should have, for, for example, like in Croatia we have the voice on HRT? I would not make a definition of exactly what, 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 what is the program definition of what you could have, what not. Uh, that's not up to me to, to, to decide on that. But generally speaking, 
uh, uh, the, the, the public TV should follow a public remit, the public mm. service, and cover all aspects of content. Of course, as well, those things which are entertaining, that is not excluded, but they shouldn't target uh, their program scheme on this kind of content. Thank you very much, Christoph, and hope to have you back in Dubrovnik. Welcome.